What is Ruski for hot dog? Tell me down below. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, y'all, it's a kneading some hot doggies kind of day. We got all the fixings here. We're gonna make three different styles of dogs and then we're gonna cook them in the fastest way I've ever found to make dogs and buns at the same ass time. Air fryers are legit. Okay, let's do it. All right, now that the prep's done, I just discovered this method the other day. It's the air fryer dogs. We just put everything in together, just like so. I've never done it with three, I've only done it with two, but I think we could probably make it happen. Let's get the three in here. This is more difficult than I expected with three. <laughs> okay, all right, dogs in, these in. I put it on like 350 for, this should take no longer than five to six minutes. All right, well, not even four minutes later, we got three different cooks. You got like the perfect, a little crispy, and then a nice little soft one. So we get to actually have the silver lining of three different textures. We're looking at it through a positive lens. And here's how the weans come out. Just a nice, perfect, little hot and... Look at that, just a little touch. They're nice, I like it. All right, we'll use this, the more super soft one for the Mac dog because we need that bun to grip like a backwood, which is the Big Mac buns are soft. Get that, that weenie in there while it's hot so that it'll kind of melt this cheese. All right, on the Mac dog. Sauce, maybe a little bit in the back here for the lettuce to stick to. Pop that lettuce in the back. Been a while since we've had some of these. That nice slice of pickle, more sauce. onions and our toasted sesame sprinkle there we have it the mac dog in all its glory all right next i'm going to do sort of a not quite a chicago but an ode to chicago we'll call it doggy in pickle on each side like that tomatoes on each ketchup mustard some pepperon cheese and i'm gonna dash it with a little bit of onion because why not a little bit of a faux chicago doge and for the crispy classic Kicking it with a bunch of ketchup. The dog itself, call me crazy, but I'm going for more. <laughs> and just onions, onions and ketchup. And there we be in all thy glory. Three beautiful doggies, done thy way. All right, y'all, let's eat. All right, y'all, welcome to eating hot dogs with a faux fur fake ruski. 
What is Russian for hot dog? How do you say it? I'm actually intrigued to know. That's really something on the mind. Um, been a minute since we had some dogs. These are looking exceptional. If I do say so myself, aesthetic on point. Two goners, okay? Uh, before we do anything more, we're going in with a semi-pour. We got the dog pee today, but I've already had a half. I had a anchor in earlier when I picked it up just to have a half sip. But before we do anything more, we must. Papa pour. So we're coming in with the Doc P Teddy. And uh, when's the last time we had some homemade hoodies, hot diggity dogs? I don't know, but I feel like my future could hold a line of hot dogs and sauces and treats. <laughs> why am I so, why do I have such an affinity for wanting to sell hot dogs? I don't get it. <laughs> I think it's just because they're beautiful. I love them so much. <laughs> I can't take myself seriously like when I get close because it just looks like there's this little puff on my head, right? I look like a microphone tip. But when I go back, it's like, okay, I can see. Should I make seagulls? Should I just eat with seagulls? Maybe I'll eat with seagulls. It'll be funnier that way. All right, we're eating with seagull ears. It's your Uncle Eddie from, from Moscow, Russia, <laughs> eating hot dogs like a seagull because a seagull would definitely come down and swoop for one of these bonds right look at them bonds there you go we got the mac dog the mock mac dog we're gonna push these off to the side just a little for this eating room sorry should i just get rid of it yeah i'm just gonna get rid of it for now here we go we got the mock mac dog we've kind of seen these in the past of course it's a hoodie classic can't go wrong all right Mm. Mm -hmm. It's all about the all beef, all beef weenie. I recently picked up, not recently, they're in the freezer now because maybe a month ago I picked up, I tried a new sort of jumbo size wiener. They were German though and they were pork and I thought they were going to be amazing and then I started, I, they just, a pork hot dog doesn't do it for me. I just love all these. So I have like eight of them in the freezer, trying to figure out what to do with them, how to incorporate them. Cause I don't want to just throw them away. I was thinking, I was thinking of making, trying to mock Jolly Bee spaghetti with like the sweet sauce, a little cheese on there, spaghetti, and then they do chopped slices of, of wiener. And I felt like maybe in that capacity they could be a little more delicious. But yeah, the other day when I picked up these wieners, I just wanted a quick, easy, quick hot dog. Just one. And I was like, I wonder if I just throw them together in the air fryer. I feel like it'd be so fast and quick. Just toast the bun, cook the wiener. Good to go. Within three minutes, I had a perfect, crispy, crunchy hot dog. Air fryers are legit game changers. I know they're just basically like an oven, but also they're not. The way they cook things and how fast is like 
so worth getting one. Pro tip though, you have to oil the bun. You gotta get that fat source. Oh, that bun. All right, y'all, round two is kind of this mock, not quite a Chicago dog, but you know, pretty kind of close. I didn't have everything or the proper things, sport peppers, and I didn't have the seasoning and all that stuff, but still should be good. That's one thing that in my younger naive days, I didn't know how good a slice of tomato is with a hot dog. That's why the tomato works so, so good. combo as you can tell I'm ravenous today and while we're on the subject of tomatoes <laughs> there's this guy in my comments he's been hounding me and asking me for years now I've even seen him in lives asking and I never answer him he's like so concerned about that I cut my tomatoes with sort of like that I have a like it's a steak knife technically and he's always like why do you cut your tomatoes with that kind of knife and the best answer I can give you bro if you're watching which I hope you are is those steak knives are sharp as shit and tomatoes the skins of a tomato is kind of like one of the most resistant things to knives and i just love how smooth they cut so you know you don't always have to use the knife that was told to you for a job like anything in life use what works for you but that's your answer that's why i use those knives for tomatoes specifically they're sharp as shit and they don't seem to dull out The DP's hitting today. And of course, the classic, the dessert dog, the more basic simple. Just that simple, ketchupy sweet. Basic nature dog. Sometimes it doesn't get better than this. Perfection. The reason why, too, especially. simple dog the crispy toasted element of the bun that flavor 
really comes through because there's not a lot going on to distract you from it. And that matched with just the, the wiener and the catchy, catch up. It's nostalgic. Also, side note, back to Russia. I feel as if if I was really paying some homage to the to the Eastern Bloc, I would have had some sauerkraut in here on one of the. <laughs> I know that's Polak, but close enough. We're in and around the right area. To be having some pickled cabbage. Although I've never been a kraut. Oh my dog kind of guy. Not my forte. I mean what can I say? Clearly those were on fire, right? Smashed them very, very aggressively. Needed them though. Been craving them for days. So these days they happen, okay? Till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true. Eat sauerkraut. Maybe don't. I don't know. Up to you. Okay, bye. If you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe, as well as check out my pinned comment down below to find other ways to support this channel. Thank you for watching, eat good, live well, and stay true.